think it's time for another project build series. This time we're going to feature the Traxxas TRX4 Sport. And I've collected a lot of parts to put on this truck. I've got a stainless steel screw kit. I've got some chrome molly axles. And I've got all of this. You know, I really love project builds. It's a great way to see all the different parts that are available for a different vehicle from a particular manufacturer. In this case, we are going to focus on just Traxxas option parts for a TRX4 Sport buildup. And you know, if you have a TRX4 Defender or a Bronco, this is right up your alley as well. There's a lot of parts in this particular series that will fit your vehicle. So if you're a pure Traxxas fan and just wanna see Traxxas parts, this is gonna be perfect for you. If you are a TRX4 owner and you're just looking for some random parts that you know might fit what you're building in particular this is going to help you out as well so what I've done here is I've split up all the parts I have into basically different video groups uh, you know this is going to be a multiple part series so this is going to go on for the next few weeks I'm going to do my best to put up at least one video per week it might be even two and we'll focus on why you would want to get these parts you know tips for installation and stuff so let's go over to the workbench right now and see all these different groups so you know what to expect so here is that lineup of all the different option parts we are going to install on our TRX4. We've got a lot of work ahead of us, uh, but like I said, I split this up into groups. So these are the groupings for the individual videos that I'm going to do. We're gonna start off over here with some chassis parts. Now this is the fender well kit. The TRX4 Sport does not have fender wells. So we've got that kit to install. So it's got a more scale look to it. And uh, what we also have here is that stainless steel screw kit I showed you really early on. And uh, this is gonna replace, I believe, every single screw inside the kit. So we'll definitely check that out. While I'm putting in the fender wells, I'm going to install the rock kit light as well. That will light up the, uh, the wheel wells at night. And then you know, while I'm working on everything, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the shocks. I've got these blue anodized shocks here and uh, you will have to use the stock springs off the stock shocks, but they do give you the oil with it. And then that's gonna give that uh, truck a nice custom look. All right, next up is uh, probably gonna be a short video here. Just wanna do a quick video on installing the 400 servo. I've done this before, but I just wanna do another video on it, a short video on it. I will also install the metal servo arm with it and the BEC to go along with it to power up that servo. Then next up, we're gonna go over to the transmission. I've got some transmission parts here. We're gonna go ahead and swap out the motor plate and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead, lock out the slipper with these optional plates that we have here. And uh, while I'm working on some drivetrain stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and swap out the wheel hexes uh, just to give a little bit more information in that short video. Next up, this is probably gonna be a pretty big video right here. This is going to be all of the front axle option parts. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the aluminum housings for the portals, uh, the steering knuckles as well, and then the seat carriers. Uh, we also have the chrome molly axles to go inside the axle. I am going to go ahead and overdrive the front, and then I do have some brass weights. Since we're going to be working on the portal housings, the brass weights will go on the front as well, and this is going to just hopefully keep the front end of this truck planted and crawling up all the obstacles that we're going to uh, tackle with this vehicle. And of course, next up is obviously the rear axle assembly. Since we're doing the front, might as well go and upgrade the rear as well. And again, we have all the portal housings in aluminum. Uh, we've got the carriers, and then we have some chrome molly axles. And here, here is our donor rig. This right here is uh, my TRX4 Sport. Reviewed it a long time ago. It's still in great condition, uh, mostly just run in the backyard. So I went and, and cleaned it up and uh, actually had some new tires from another project that uh, I threw on. But we're gonna go ahead and put uh, more new tires on here, actually. I've got a, a full set of new tires from Traxxas. These are the, the Canyon tires. Those are basically replacements for what's on there. They are the S1 compound. And then I've got their beadlock rings. So that's the, the big change because these are glued on and we're gonna go ahead and put some beadlocks on here. So I have these from Traxxas. They're a black chrome beadlock. Those are gonna look really cool. Uh, and then I have the blue rings that they offer for it. And in here is all the rings I'll need for installing the, the tires on the V-locks. And then finally here, I have some serrated lock nuts, blue anodized serrated lock nuts to secure those wheels down. And, and as you can see, I've got a full set. We're actually gonna put a spare tire on the back of it. 
Uh, we're gonna do a whole video just on the body set, but there's that spare tire mount. And as you can see right here, here is all the body parts. So uh, this actually, this is a clear body that Traxxas offers. Uh, I sent it out to our painter, uh, Larry at Custom RC Graphics, asked him to paint up this desert tan with a striped body. And uh, about a week after I got this back from Larry, Traxxas announced that they have a desert tan body as well. So this was actually painted up before they had that. But we've got a lot of other parts to put on. We've got the rear rack for it that comes with all the uh, different accessories. Really cool option to put on. We've got some more lights for that cage. Got the snorkel assembly. Uh, we've got some LED light bars. That one is for the roof and this one is for the front. And then we have the full light kit so we can light up the body. It's got the front and rear panels uh, for the light inserts and everything. So that is going to be a fun kit to install. There are a lot of parts that we have to put on this machine. It is going to be so much fun to build this up with you guys. Really looking forward to it. Let's talk about how this is all gonna go down. So this was just the intro video. I wanted to show you guys all the different parts that I have for the truck so you know what to expect throughout this entire build series. Now, if you have a question about some of the parts that you saw today, please put it in the comment section below. That way I can check it out and hopefully address your question when I get to that portion of the build. So hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the video series. All right, so that wraps up this video. This is going to be an exciting build. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done and of course drive it for you guys. All right, we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.